Hey guys, well this morning I went out and took a little drive. It's about that time of year again, so we're in November, middle of November here, and the weather's getting pretty cold around here. The leaves are falling, seeds are starting to fall from the trees, and it's time to collect Japanese maple seeds. So, I've done this before uh, in the past, and I've tried so many different ways to germinate Japanese maple seeds, and there's only one way that I've ever been successful with. If you've gone, if you go to any library or get online, most of the places you go to will tell you to uh, stratify the seeds. They want you to collect them, bring them indoors, put them in a brown paper bag, and just let them dry out basically and sit all winter long. And then after three months, four months, something like that, you're supposed to put them in some moist peat moss and put them in your fridge. And you know, some people put them in a blender and grind them up a little bit just to chip the edges of them so they can absorb moisture. Some people take sandpaper to them. You know, there's, there's all these intricate ways to germinate Japanese maple seeds. And about, I don't know, six or eight years ago or something like that, I learned this particular way from a guy named Ken Alston. And it totally has changed the way I germinate seeds. I don't buy any of that other stuff anymore. I don't do anything special or anything crazy to these seeds. I remember at one point, probably like 10 years ago, I went out and collected thousands of Japanese maple seeds from a whole bunch of different trees. And I sat down on my couch in the evening with my wife and I must have spent five hours. And I sat there and I picked every single little wing off of every single little Japanese maple seed. It was absolutely ridiculous. But that's what this particular this particular book I had read told me you have to do it. Anyway, I don't do any of that garbage anymore. There's one simple, easy way to do this and you'll have success every time. So, I went out and I collected these seeds. I didn't film that part of it just because I've collected seeds from this place before and there's a lot of private residences around. Uh, I don't want to disturb these people or make them feel uncomfortable by filming all around their place. So I went out, I collected the seeds, I brought them home and I'm gonna show you how to germinate these things or prepare them for germination next spring. So here's all the seeds that I collected. They're just all piled up in a little baggie. Let me see if I can open this up and you guys can see all them whole bunch of seeds right there and I just go and get a, or a uh, little plastic bag here this is a uh, uh, what one quart plastic freezer bag and I take all of my seeds this just happened to be a little baggie I had in my truck I didn't actually even anticipate doing this this morning but when I was driving past the the maples that I usually collect from they were totally ready and I need to get out there and collect them so I just piled them up in my hand and then I found this little baggie and, uh, in the lane in my truck. It was actually my daughter's little snack baggie from after school the other day. So I just take these things, we'll throw them in a little bit bigger bag, a little freezer bag there, and they're all just piled in that bag. They're still attached as you can see to all of those little stems that I pulled off the tree there. And I'll just seal that sucker up. I don't try to get the air out or anything. And there's a little moisture in there. Those seeds are kind of wet, you know, from being out in the rain and all that. Um, anyway, that's it. I will take those seeds, throw them in my refrigerator in the bottom drawer, and next spring, whenever I feel like it, I'm not counting months, I'm not counting weeks, I'm not doing anything special. I will pull these seeds out of the refrigerator. I might go every, every couple weeks or every month or something. I'll just burp the bag, I'll open it up, let a little bit of air in and just let it kind of circulate, zip it back up, throw it back in the fridge. And that's all I'm gonna do. And once I go back next spring, I'll just pull them out when I know the danger of frost has passed and I'll put them in a little tote that's got peat moss and perlite and all that mixed together. And we'll just set them in the greenhouse here and let the warmth of spring start germinating them uh last time it's been a few years since i did this because i you know as you know i'm the roadie guy not the japanese maple guy but i do like red leaf japanese maples um so it's been a few years since i did this but last time i did it i had i did I, I laid out hundreds of these things in one tote and then just put them all in the peat moss covered them over with a little lid and within weeks i had tons of japanese maples germinating anyway <laughs> And in fact, I have 
in some of my videos in the past, some of the first videos I've done of this greenhouse hoop house, um, you can go back through there and see, I think I show some clips of those Japanese maples. Um, I pulled out the ones that I wanted, potted them up. I still have some of them planted out there. I gave some to my dad. He planted them around his property. So anyway, that's it. Throw them in a plastic bag. Make sure there's a little moisture. You don't want to pour a bunch of water in there, but make sure that the, the seeds are a little moist. Um, throw them in the bottom of your fridge, and when the danger of frost is passed, pull them out. Next spring, we'll do another video, and I'll show you what I do with these guys, and we'll just kind of go through from there and see how all this is going to work. So, thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's I love this time of year in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's not always rainy. Anyway, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.